hey what's going on YouTube thank you for joining me today in this video we're gonna talk about how I completely messed up my pre-trip inspection so if you want to see you want to know more about it stay till the end and I'll catch you on the other side give a damn about a hater when I feel like it not today not today not today not tomorrow get out my way please I'm trying to get paid All right, welcome back Thank you for joining me. My name is Abdiel. For any of you that don't know me yet, in this channel, I'm recording my entire journey in the CDL apprenticeship program. I'm currently in the CAT program with Snyder. I will be making uh, a lot of videos to update you guys on my whole entire journey. And even after my, my CDL apprenticeship, whether I graduate or not, I will keep updating you guys with more and more videos. But my goal is to get my CDL license and be able to own my own commercial vehicles you know at least one or two maybe three four more um, but anyways let's get to the video all right welcome back thank you for joining me today um, yeah just like you heard it in the video I failed my pre-trip so I'm gonna explain to you guys what I mean by that so today was Monday this is the first day of the last week for the CDL apprenticeship program with Snyder, also known as the CAT program. And if you watch my previous videos, uh, you know that I completed my two weeks over the road, something that I was waiting for for a very long time, and I finally completed it last week. But today, Monday, was the very first day of the last week, and on this specific week, um, the very first day we were going to do um, pre-trip inspection as a practice and we were going to also practice uh, our backups, our parallel parking and the actual uh, offset parking and straight line backing. Um, so, but let me explain to you what I mean by I failed my pre-trip. So I went to school, I was really pumped because um, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. but my confidence level has gone up quite significantly to a point where I was just like, you know what? If they ask who wants to go first to do the pre-trip uh, test or practice test, I want to go first. And sure enough, yeah, as soon as we get there, you know, we get to the uh, <clears throat> the lobby. It was uh, around 6.30 to 7 when we actually headed out to the... Um, to the field um, where they have everything set up and you know I was staying close to the instructor and I was kind of hearing everything he was saying and he basically said yeah whoever passes their pre-trip and if the other instructor tells me that you guys are good or whoever passed it is good you're gonna move on to practice your backups but if you don't pass your pre-trip you're not gonna get a chance to back up to practice your backups so anyway so I thought to myself like I want to go home I want to finish this get it over with and go home so as soon as the opportunity came by I asked to go first and yeah I was I was nervous but at the same time I wanted to do it for two reasons well I was hoping I could pass it the first time but if I didn't pass it it's all right because then I had the rest of the day to practice on whatever I failed. And that is precisely what I did because I failed my pre-trip test, practice test. It was not the real one, luckily, but it was just the practice test. <clears throat> and again, they use Monday as the first day to do your pre-trip and determine whether you're good at it or if you need more work on it. And if you're good at it, then they allow you to move forward and do your practice, your uh, parallel, your uh, offset, and your straight back. So yeah, long story short, I decided to go first. I was very confident. And I started on the outside. I did the front of the vehicle. Bam, nailed it. I went to the side of the uh, engine compartment for the, uh, the passenger side. Boom, nailed it. I went to the driver's side, which is the most, most uh, detailed side and boom, I didn't nail it because I missed two two things that I shouldn't have missed, but because I was a little nervous, um, I forgot to mention, it was the coolant uh, uh, res uh, coolant reservoir 
Um, I, I needed to say that it supposed to be filled in between the minimum and the maximum level so I got a point written down and again when you're doing your testing whether it's practice or the real one the more points you have the worse it is so they wrote down um, a negative remark and then um, <clears throat> I did the same thing for the uh, power steering fluid reservoir I forgot I said everything I needed to say about it except for it was filled into the uh, in between the minimum and the maximum level um, but anyway so did the side of the tractor, I nailed it. I went towards the back of the tractor, I nailed it. I did my coupling system. Well, I'm so sorry. The, the back of the tractor, I missed, it was called the torque arm. It, um, I'll see if I can maybe upload it. If I have a picture, I'll upload a picture to show you what it is. But it's just one component that's right above the um, differential. Uh, and I think it's connected from side to side from the actual frame itself. Um, but I got that one wrong. Anyways, I don't wanna make this too long. Uh, the point is, <clears throat> I did everything great on the outside. He wrote me down for, I think it was six negative remarks and they were minimum things that I forgot and it's more than likely I was nervous. But he wrote me down for six things and remember on your pre-trip inspection, I think they only allow you, and don't quote me on this, but I think they allow you to miss. 15 of them so <clears throat> when I completed the outside he told me that uh, the guy the instructor told me okay let's get in the inside and do your pre uh, end cap inspection and exactly what I was hoping that didn't happen happened I go in inside the vehicle I sit down in the, uh, the driver's seat and my mind just goes blank like it completely went blank and I just could not think of what to do in that moment and so <laughs> I'm like why can I not think of the process but the reality is that I didn't I didn't practice enough my in cab inspection and that is the honest truth but outside I practiced a lot and that's why I was okay at it I was you know I had a high score at least uh, in, in other words but my in cab completely failed it and I had an idea that was gonna be my biggest struggle but I didn't study for it as much as I should have and so the <clears throat> the very first thing that you're supposed to do is you grab the seat belt and you say my seat belt is properly mounted it's properly mounted and secured to the cabin it's not cut worn torn or frayed and it properly latches and unlatches I said that but the very first thing after that you have to do is a safe start. And that's where everything went wrong. When I say everything, I mean everything. I didn't do a safe, a proper safe start. Um, I was jumping from this section to that section. And then I went to the windshield. And then I went to back to the here. And I was all over the place. And the instructor was just looking at me like, all right, yeah. Uh, he, he basically told me, all right, you need to stop. He's like, look. <clears throat> don't think about the outside don't worry about the outside the outside you have it nailed down very good he's like but I need you to grab this sheet of paper and I need you to follow all of the steps for the in cab inspection and I was just looking at him like okay I'm like yep I'm like I failed it right I mean like if this would have been me on the test on the real test it would have been a fail I would have failed my pre-trip so then I'm um, he proceeded to allow me to do my um, my uh, my tug test, my trailer tug test, tractor tug test, and my service brake test, and then all of my brake testing, and I passed. I passed those two subjects. Um, so long story short, the one thing I didn't pass was the in cab, but that's all you need. If you completely butcher it and get it wrong, then you know there's only so many points you can get written down for or, or uh, negative remarks you can get written down for and um, <clears throat> yeah so he just stopped me he said you know what look look I, I don't have no problem with you doing your the outside just try to study this paper when you feel comfortable let me know and we'll retake it again and then if you're if you get it right next time you're able to go and practice your uh, backups and I was like okay like I said, the very good thing was I was the very first one to do it. And it was for 
either reason, either I was going to get it right and move on, or I was going to mess up somewhere, fail, but I was going to do this at an early time during the day where I had plenty of time to study, 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 go back, retake it and pass. And that's exactly what happened. Um, after lunch or before lunch, the whole entire time, I was just in my mind practicing, looking at the paper. I'm like, all right, practice, practice. I would go inside the vehicle, practice, follow the order. I had a couple of students help me and I was helping as well, vice versa. And we were just helping each other. And um, after a couple of hours and after lunchtime, that's when I talked to the instructor and I said, hey, look, listen, I think I'm okay now. So if you have the time and you're able to, test me again. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. So we went back out. Um, he was testing me from the beginning. As soon as he saw that, yeah, I had no problem again in the, in the outside. He said, all right, let's get inside. And then um, <clears throat> did my, uh, my in-cab inspection. Nailed it. Boom. I nailed that sucker. I did my, uh, my, my tuck testing and I had nailed it before, but I nailed it again. I did my brake testing and then I nailed it again. And then bam, I was just boom, happy. And so as soon as I finished and he said, all right, you're good. You're ready to go. Go practice your backups. I went and I joined uh, a couple of the students that were, that were already there. And um, the instructor that we had there as well, super knowledgeable. And the very first thing he tells you, if you follow my instructions in every turn you're going to make to do a offset or a parallel parking, which they're identical, the same maneuver the movement you do is identical for either or. If you follow exactly what I tell you and you do it in the moment in time I tell you, you're gonna get it. And he was not lying. It was very, very straightforward. And so long story short, <clears throat> I did my backing as well and I passed. So then the very first thing that he told me was that other instructor, he said, will you feel comfortable to, to do your actual CDL test, your DMV test early in the morning? And I said, yes. So there you go. If they tell you to practice, man, you got to practice. If they tell you to follow their instructions, man, you got to follow their instructions. As simple as that. And I should have known that I was going to, I already knew I was going to, that was my biggest struggle was the in cab, but somehow I didn't think too much of it. And little did I know I got a big slap to the face and a reality check because let's just say I was slightly overconfident or maybe I was just not thinking about it the way I was supposed to think about it. But anyways. Luckily, I passed and I'm scheduled to do my actual DMV test tomorrow early in the morning, man. That is freaking great news. And as soon as I'm done and if I pass my test, when I pass my test, I'm not going to have that doubt in mind. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to keep studying for the rest of the, uh, the day uh, today. But when I do pass, they're going to fly me back home tomorrow that very same day so if any other student takes a test and they pass whoever does pass they get sent out that same day ASAP back to the house with your certificate and then <clears throat> submit all the paperwork to the DMV and I'm officially I will officially be a CDL class A driver dude that is amazing that is amazing so look all I gotta say is this, if I can do it, you can do it as well. Be very confident in yourself, be confident in the process, and confident in the instructors that have been doing it for many years. And if you follow their direction, if you follow their instruction, you will be successful. So for, first and foremost, you have to be confident with yourself, but don't cut corners thinking that you don't need to study because it happened to me. I wasn't thinking I needed to cut corners, but 
I just didn't think about it and I didn't study hard enough. And then sure enough, I got my reality check, but it was well-deserved and luckily I was able to pass it and now I'm taking my test tomorrow. So once again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button and hit that notification icon. I'm gonna give you guys updates. Even if I graduate tomorrow, I'll give you an update. But even after that, I'm gonna update you my entire way as I'm going because I wanna document everything I do within the whole trucking uh, industry. So that's something that you're interested in. If you wanna see a rookie like me go through this whole entire process, hopefully pass, and move on to trucking and hopefully sooner than later to bigger and greater things because like I said I want to own my own truck as soon as possible and I'll make a video on that to let you know why but I have my reasons and I will document that as well so my goal is to do it ASAP own my truck as soon as I can um, but anyways if you have any questions please also Put them in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this whole entire um, experience that I just had. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments, um, or any suggestions too. Anything that you can suggest in regards to uh, what video I can make next. Also, throw it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm definitely always willing to hear what other people have to say. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one. Thank you.